We need to now talk about some TCP IP related commands. What we need to do is to access the command prompt, and let's go ahead and do that now. If, if you follow along with me, click Start, and then you see the Start menu open up, click Run, and the Run dialog box type open up, and then type in CMD, and click OK, or press Enter. And then your command file, your command prompt opens up. Uh, one of the TCP IP related commands is the ping command. Um, when you troubleshoot, what you should do is ping your what we call local loopback address, as I'm doing here. That tests your TCP IP, ensures the TCP IP is loaded on your network card. Uh, the next thing you need to do is ping your real IP address. Um, first, if you don't know how to find your real IP address, you need to run the IP config command to do so. I'm going to open up and maximize my screen here and you'll see my IP address of 192.168.1.2 and the default gateway also known as the router is 192.168.1.1 so let's go ahead and ping my local address and the ping comes back successful. Now by default four ping re replies are sent and a ping packet, actually an ICMP packet is sent to the destination and sent back. And so that's called a round trip. You'll notice here that 32 bytes were sent and the time to live is 128, meaning that's, that's, uh, that counter is decremented every time the um, packet goes through a hop or through a router. So now let me ping the router, see if that router is up. You notice is 1.1 because the default gateway is the router. Let's see if he's up. And that's up. Now what we can do is ping an address on the other side of the router to see if that's up. Uh, this tests our, our routing configuration. Let's go ahead and see if I can ping. Um, let's see if we can ping Yahoo's address. Now this is a DNS name and that pings successfully and you can see that that's actually on the internet somewhere. And you can see the address of 216.109.118.77. Now that I've done that, let's try typing in the ARP command, ARP. ARP minus A, that command shows me what addresses, the internet address, excuse me, and the physical address or the MAC address what addresses that have been re viewed recently that's my that's one of my pings that where I actually access that router 1.1 and it, it shows a mapping of the IP address and the map, MAC address the MAC address so that next time I, I ping or try to attempt to talk to that computer it will not have to do send a packet out it will actually do a look up in this ARP it stands for address resolution protocol it'll look, at, look it up in this ARP table um, so it says okay you're pinging 192.168.1.1. I don't have to send a packet out because I know what its address is. It's 00-0F-B5-1E-99-44. That is a hexadecimal MAC address. Uh, let's do another fun command called traceroute. Now the traceroute command actually allows you to see the number of routers between your place and the destination. And you'll see each entry there is called a hop. And it's going along there. And it'll time out after about 16, 15 or 16 hops. So if you have a problem with a router in between, all these are actually router interfaces on the internet. And if you if it if you start getting all asterisks, it means it's timing out and the destination network is unreachable. So my trace completed in 12 hops. Um, maximum, I'm sorry, it's 30 hops, not 15. It tells me right here. And these are the number of d devices it found between my machine all the way out to the Yahoo machine. Okay? I'll close the window now. That, that ends the discussion of this. I'll close the window and hope you enjoyed it.